So this first case, I think, is an interesting application for MR. Now, often we think of pancreatic adenocarcinoma as a diagnosis that we primarily make on CT, and I think that's true. But I think MR does have a role in certain specific indications, particularly when you have a lesion that's hard to see on CT, or when you're trying to perhaps exclude a lesion in a patient in whom you have a relatively low index of suspicion based on a CT scan, but there may be high clinical suspicion. Now, as you can see on these images, there is a relatively low-intensity, poorly enhancing mass identified within the pancreatic head. Not that easy to identify if you just look at the post gadolinium images. But if you look at the MRCP images, you can see that this patient clearly has a double duct with dilation of both the CBD and the pancreatic duct to the level of the pancreatic head. And I think most useful, if you look at the ADC map, clearly this mass demonstrates significant restricted diffusion. Now, I think restricted diffusion or diffusion-weighted imaging in general is very useful when you're dealing with pancreatic cancers, which tend to be scarce, fibrotic, and will often have relatively low ADC values. So this is a great example of how MR can be useful when diagnosing pancreatic adenocarcinoma.